in this here make me tough to you Snack cake to me, yeah, more hoes More hoes This been overdue forever. forever Asked me when it was dropping, said never Never Should've made you cut the feather But I designed it Freemason Margella What's goody, Shell Tron here, the most woke, no joking I'm back, back, back. Gotta give him the brand new video And I'ma keep it up, all baby biscuit I may have been wrong I may have been wrong just this one time And I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong but I didn't say I was wrong, I said I may have been. And like Wayne said on Carter 5, I thought I was wrong, but I was just mistaken. And I gotta say, I was just mistaken because look, I didn't have all the facts. And it wasn't because I wasn't looking for the facts, it's because the facts hadn't all come out yet before I did my preview video for this game at home versus the Bucks. I did not know. I did not know that we were gonna go blackout for this game. Now, now, no one told me, no one hit my line and said, hey, Shalatron, hey, Shalatron, yeah, I know you had that preview video coming out soon, but let me just tell you this one time for the one time, the Panthers, hey, look, I got an inside source. It's black on black. Now, I, now if I knew that we were wearing black on black at home versus the Bucks, I would have had a whole different kind of prediction. Now, as it stands right now, I said it was going to be a 35-42 game. Yes, I did say they were going to drop 42 on us. I also said it was going to be a shootout kind of game, back and forth, back and forth. And the 40 was going to be dropped very late in the game. Honestly, that's kind of a last possession kind of game, I think. And really, with full disclosure, that game can go either way, with it being either a shootout or a blowout. But I said the game could go either way with the Baltimore Ravens game. And it would kind of be a little bit... Lame, if you watch the video every single week, I'm saying, hey, the game could go either way. We could win this game. We could lose this game. It could be a blowout. It could be, you know, a, a really close game. I can, I can just call it either way every single week and always be right because I take every single side of the story. But now that I know this little bit of a fact, we were in black on black. Does anyone in the comments remember the last time this team wore black on black? When was the last time we wore blackout? Was it last year? No. Was it 2016 when we went six and two? No. Oh, it was. Wasn't it in our? Wasn't it in our? Uh, wasn't it in our almost undefeated season where we went 15 and one and made the Super Bowl? I think we went in blackout. No, it wasn't then. Was it our 2014 season? I don't think it was. Uh, well, it, it was in 2014, but it wasn't the 2014 season. It was all the way back in the 2013 season. <laughs> But we wore the jerseys in the divisional round against the 49ers, which was on, I think it was January 14th or 10th of 2014. And if y'all remember what happened in that game, uh, the very first quarter, Cam got a really sad tip pick that led to six straight points for the 49ers. Then we answered with 10 straight points. The Niners actually had a kind of clutch goal line stand to start the second quarter where we rushed it. I think we, I think we ran a quarterback sneak on fourth and goal with Cam, and we didn't get it. Well, we did score 10 straight, only for the Niners to go ahead and score 17 straight upon our head top. Colin Kaepernick threw some hot ones. Colin Kaepernick threw some of the most disgusting throws. There was a touchdown to the back right corner of the end zone. I forgot who caught it. But I, I, when I saw that play, everyone was like, no, it was out of bounds, out of bounds. I said, nah, that man, that man really did drag that toe. Colin Kaepernick threw some, some, some deep balls on us. It was actually, it was a sad game. And if you remember, there was one thing in particular about that game. Because back in 2013, it was back when it was Colin Kaepernick, Russell Wilson and Cam Newton. Basically, the NFL made a story of it was the battle of the, the black quarterbacks. We we're all in the NFC. Mobile quarterbacks move on the run, make some pretty good passes. Russell hadn't really arrived yet, I don't think. It was Colin versus Cam. That was the game where Colin Kaepernick, after scoring a rushing touchdown on a bootleg, I think it was, he did Cam celebration and then buttoned the shirt back up. He did the Superman reveal and then buttoned the shirt back up. And then did his own flex celebration. I said, Colin, why? Now, in that moment, I might have been the kind of person to say something about him being out of the league right now and saying good riddance to him. I ain't going for it. I hated Colin Kaepernick when he did that. I, and look, <laughs> I low-key still am uh, a little pressed about that. I'm, I'm kind of my feelings still about that, Colin. I'm glad you're making your Nike money, but show Cam some damned respect. <laughs> But look, now we have Eric Reed on the team, and our first opportunity where we wear black jerseys, we go blackout? Now, I don't want to say coincidence has happened, but you know, I heard from someone somewhere, everything happens for a reason. 
We have a new owner. David Tepper seems to be really into, you know, these new things, new looks, new type of way of uh, how the locker room interacts, the, the, the culture on the team, everything. And he seems to be having a pretty hands-on approach to looking at things in a different light than Jerry Richardson ever wanted to. Honestly, the point is, we haven't won these black on black since 2013. January 2014, but the 2013-2014 season, and we're just now bringing them back? I know we were superstitious, but look, we got Eric Reed on the squad. We got Cam Newton on the squad. We got that man, oh man. We got that man. Who's that man in the in the backfield? This is, a, this is a guy who plays running back. I know his dad was in the league for a while. Number 22, what's his name? What's that guy's name? We got that guy in the backfield. They like to say he, they like to compare him to a to a, a popular rap group from the 80s. I, I don't remember that man's name, but I think y'all do. We got some dogs in our roster, in our locker room right now, and we're in all black. Look, man, we might win the game by 40. We might, <laughs> They might still score 42 on us. We might win the game 82-42. That's how I'm feeling now. Hey, look. I wasn't wrong, but I was mistaken. I couldn't give you a score prediction now. I'm liable to say we went by 80. I, you Don't listen to me. I might say we went by 90. <laughs> we were in all blacks for the first time in four years. <laughs> Five years. We might win by 80. I don't know. What are your thoughts on all black on black jerseys, man? This is going to be a fresh, fresh look, man. Let me, just let me know what your thoughts are. I got to hear them. Let me know in the comments below. And you already know to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones going to recommend. Count this as another win.